Aloha nui kako. Okay, so this is Noea with another update regarding Waiakahi Ula. So just this morning, early Saturday morning, um, one of the neighbors down here next to Waiakahi Ula Beach Park notified us that David Chun of Giant Properties LLC was back up near the Ali'i burial platform. So as soon as we got that notification, I headed down here. Mr. Chun was on the property with his truck right next to the burial. Looked like he was spreading lepo or dirt around. And I went to talk start with him, small kind. I did my usual olu olu kind action where I just wanted to vala out and see what he was up to. So I kind of mentioned to him like, oh, you kind of have your truck, which is counts as machinery back up here by the burial. And you know, there's an investigation going on. So as far as I'm concerned, like you shouldn't be anywhere near, near the platform. And he was like, well, you know, this is still my property. So I'm just here to take care of it. And I'm just spread spreading soil because I have plants to plant tea leaf around it. And I was like, yeah, but according to the burial treatment plan, which you aren't following, you're supposed to have the kind orange tape here like up around the platform or the cultural site so you know like where your boundaries are and then he just made a bunch of excuses and he told me like i told that other woman leah i saw this property you folks because you guys have it until april to come up with the money and i was just like oh, i was kind of over it at that point luckily leah shows up and there's like a big confrontation between those two Leah was pretty much just saying the same things that I had already told him, but this time with some fire behind it. <laughs> Mahalo, Leah. So yeah, after their little, like, hakaka action, Mr. Chun, he got back in his truck and he just dug out. Same as last time. So yeah, just another fun Saturday morning down here in Waiakahi Ula. But on the positive side, and what kind of helped me, like, de-stress from that whole situation, um, maybe an hour after David Chun dug out and Leah went back home, um, guess who shows up to the park? Mr. Taupori Tangaro. Yeah, and we had a good like talk story sesh down here at the park. I got to take him around, show him the sights. We kind of had like a small debrief about the key pipe fight that happened down here on July 3rd. And then after he left, like even more good stuff started happening. Like this one local family came down, I guess their son, he really wanted to go like pick Opihi down here. So I went take them down and show them like where was the best spots for that. And then another Ohana showed up and they had questions about the name of the park and like all the village sites. So I kind of took them around and shared with them some of my Ike about this place. And yeah, the vibes down here have shifted in a major way <laughs> since this morning's little um, interactions with <laughs> David Chun of Giant Properties LLC. So I'm hoping that the switch of moods down here is kind of a sign from the kupunas like, yeah, don't worry, the bumps in the road are still here, but at the end of the day, things are gonna be okay. But okay, so let me show you guys a little bit of what Mr. David Chun was up to this time. It looks like he was trying to cover the area that he removed, you know, the whole rock wall. It looked like he was trying to cover that whole space up with Lepo, almost to cover his tracks kind. But what he told me was he was going to put up a new, like, barrier with La'i or tea leaf. And yeah, we see, but you know, thanks to all the other positive things that happened today, I'm feeling, I'm feeling okay. That's all the updates I got for you, Lahui. Um, until next time, aloha.